Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here, continuing to cook up this NBA action, man. Y'all know we do here on the Jam Session. We cook up every single game, every single day. Yesterday, we did drop our NBA Player of the Day, and as you guys know, I call a spade a spade here on the Jam Session. I don't lie, hide, none of that. I call a spade a spade, and these last couple days have been pretty rough. Um, they have, but today is a beautiful day. For a bounce back, man. We got 10 games on the NBA card today. And y'all know the drill. I'm finna cook it up and try to smash it per usual. In the totality of things, um, it hasn't been terrible in the NBA. Uh, like on the jam session, I want to say like the last three, four days, we've been positive here on the jam session. My problem has been my selection process, withering down my games for my premium side. Um, that's where I've gotten in trouble here recently. Um, but don't worry. It's a long long NBA season. We're going to have really hot streaks. We're going to have cold streaks, and we're going to have some days where it's just choppy. Um, it's the nature of the business. But what we are going to do is show up every day and continue to try to help you guys make some money, man. I absolutely love today's NBA action, and we're going to try to cook it up and smash it per usual. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as I always say, if you rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below, and of course, I have premium plays over at the site. We will bounce back on that NBA play of the day. I'm damn near guaranteeing it. Uh, you guys can scoop up that play today over at Pig Dogs Premium. You can hop on something even longer term, or you can join my all-access club. Like I said, these last couple days have been kind of choppy. But it's a very long NBA season. Um, every every play that I've ever released thus far this season is 100% documented over at Pick Dogs Premium. Uh, it's been a really solid year. Won't let a few bad days rattle us. Bounce back day today on a Wednesday. So without further ado, man, let's do exactly that. Let's make some money today. And let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. All right. First game up, man. We got the Minnesota Timberwolves, a.k.a. The House of Disappointment out on the road facing the Detroit Pistons. Pistons 11 and a half point dogs at the crib. We know what's going on here. This is one of the worst teams in the NBA versus one of the best record teams in the NBA in the Minnesota Timberwolves. There are in some injury concerns in this one. Anthony Edwards game time decision with left knee tendonitis. Um, something to watch for the Pistons. Muscala, Gallinari, and Bojan uh, Bogdanovich are all listed as game time decisions. T-Wolves, they've won three of their last four, and they've started to kind of look like the T-Wolves that we thought they were earlier this season. Um, Detroit, they're the worst team in basketball. We understand that. What I also can tell you, though, is this is one of the most public plays on the board. Everybody loves the T-Wolves today, and I get it. The Pistons are terrible. Um, me, personally, I'm probably not going to bet this game, but if I were to, I would go sharp and take the Pistons. Um, it's a lot of lumber to lay on the road for – the Minnesota Timberwolves. Are they head and shoulders the better team? Most definitely. If they really, really wanted to, could they come out here and blow the doors off the Pistons? Most definitely. But the Pistons, as bad as their record is against the number, they're not terrible. You can pick your spots and make money betting the Pistons 16, 23, and 1, as you see on your screen. And I kind of think tonight might be one of those spots. I think 11 and a half is slightly too many delay with Minnesota. They probably win the game by like eight, seven points, but I personally wouldn't lay 11 and a half. I'm going to lean toward Detroit first game of the day. Next game up, we got the Orlando Magic out on the road facing the Atlanta Hawks. Hawks on favorites laying three and a half here in this one. Short, sweet, simple. I tell you guys, every day we see the Hawks, they're just going to be a continuous fade until they give me a reason not to want to fade them. Currently the worst ATS team in the NBA, 10 and 29 against the number, the gift that keeps on giving. One of the worst ATS teams in the NBA versus one of the best in all honesty, I think the Magic are straight up, flat out, the better team. Um, I know we've gotten in trouble in a few of those spots here recently. There's a reason why the books like the Hawks' favor here. But I can make the argument that the books have been wrong on Atlanta all season long, hence why they have 29 losses against the number. Um, I think the Magic are the better team playing the better basketball. I think they come in here, play good defense, and beat the Hawks. I think the Hawks are headed for a blow-up sooner rather than later. And uh, we got to continue to get as much money fading them as possible while we can. Give me the magic plus the three and a half here in that one. Next game up, this is another short, sweet, simple one. This is another one where the public is all over Boston. I'm actually going to join the public on this one, though. I'm going to lay it here with Boston. Um, this is one of the 
this is one of the worst teams in the NBA in San Antonio going up against the very best team in the NBA, in my opinion, the Boston Celtics. Celtics at home at the crib where they haven't lost a game all season. I think they come here and blow the living doors off of the Boston, off the uh, San Antonio Spurs. It's just my story. I'm sticking to it. Uh, we've already seen these two teams play once this season. It was on the last day of 2023, the 31st of December. That game was in San Antonio. Boston went in there and ran them out the gym, 134-101. If you allow Boston to do that to you on the road where they have been terrible, um, at home, I think they're going to do the exact same thing. Short, sweet, simple. It's Boston for me here in that one. Next game up, we got the Milwaukee Bucks out on the road facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavs home dogs here in this one, getting three and a half points uh, in our pocket with Cleveland. I'm going to take Cleveland here. I'm going to fade Milwaukee. I've, we've made a pretty good amount of money fading Milwaukee thus far this season. Uh, Milwaukee, man, they are currently the... One, two, fourth worst ATS team in the NBA. Um, and we kind of knew that that would be the case earlier this season. They're normally priced like they're one of the best teams in the NBA. And they are one of the best teams in the NBA. But defensively, they don't do enough to warrant laying the amount of points that the books usually have them laying. Um, they give up meaningless buckets in the third, second quarter that are meaningless at the time. But... Fourth quarter late, those are the buckets that are the ones that allow the Bucks not to cover point spreads. Um, last year, they were much better defensively with Drew Holiday. Um, minus him, they're now just mainly an offensive juggernaut. And there are going to be nights where they can offensively just beat up on teams that they're better than. But I don't see that as one of those spots tonight. Cleveland in Cleveland is typically where I like to bet them. I think they, in all honesty, have a legitimate shot to win this game outright. If they're going to give me points in my back pocket, with Cleveland at home, where I usually like to bet them, and fading Milwaukee, one of the worst ATS teams in the NBA. Sign me up. I'm taking Cleveland at home, at the crib here. In all honesty, I think they win that game now, right? Um, next game up, we got the Houston Rockets out on the road facing the New York Knicks. Knicks length five and a half here in this one. I'm actually going to do something I usually don't do. I'm taking the Rockets on the road here. Am I rushing to the window to bet this game? No. But I think defensively the Rockets keep this game close enough to cover the point spread, and they might win it outright. The Knicks were playing really well, but that last game that they played was really discouraging for me. I hated what I saw from them to close out that game versus Orlando. They had every chance and opportunity not only to win the game but to cover the game. And, hey, I don't know what that was late fourth quarter. Um, yeah. I can't, I can't lay this amount of points with the Knicks, and I'm well aware how terrible the Houston Rockets have been on the road all season. We've been fading the Rockets on the road like nobody's business, but I actually think today's a day where they get a cover. They might actually get a win. Um, the Knicks, they've lost two of their last three, like I said, against Orlando. It was a disgusting fourth quarter, and then I was at the game versus the Dallas Mavericks, and... To start the game, they were terrible. So I've seen terrible stretches of basketball in two of the last three games for the Knicks that have severely bit them in the ass. And I think we might be looking at something similar here tonight. Yes, they did beat up on Memphis on the road, but Memphis is not really a good team right now. We all know that. Um, the Rockets are decent. On the road, they've really struggled, but do we really expect them to be this bad on the road all season, or is the law of averages going to kind of show up here soon. I think today's a day where it kind of shows up. I think the Houston Rockets have a legitimate shot to win this game outright. I'm going to grab the five and a half points in my back pocket. Next game up, man, we got the Miami Heat laying two and a half on the Toronto Raptors. Raptors home dogs getting two and a half, man. I'm on the Raptors here. They got to show up at home. They have to show up at home. They have to. Uh, well, they don't have to, but I, I think they do. Um, Injury report, let's start there. Gary Trent, game time decision. Otto Porto, out. Uh, Grady Dick, game time decision. Christian Coloco, out. And Jacob Podol, out. So that's a lot of injuries there for the Raptors. Hence why the Miami Heat are favored in this game. And the Heat are the better team. Um, Kevin Love, out. Jamie Hawkins, out. Looks like Jimmy is in in this one. We've already seen Miami beat Toronto in Toronto once this season. It was on the 6th of December. Final score was 112-103. I'm on Toronto here. 
I know they've lost four straight. I took a bath on them the other day. I had them as my top play against the Celtics the other day. They had every chance and opportunity to cover that game and just couldn't get it done in the end. But at home, at the crib, where they have a whole entire country behind them, I think they compete and win this game tonight. They typically play their best basketball at home, at the crib. Miami, they've been hard-nosed and playing well, even with the injuries they've had. But I don't necessarily like the spot for Miami here. I'm going to take the Raptors in a revenge spot at home at the crib. Next game up, we got the Charlotte Hornets out on the road facing the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans length 12 and a half in this one. Pelicans, theoretically on paper, this should be a bounce back and get right opportunity at the crib. Am I rushing to bet this game? No, though, because the Pelicans, they just came off a significant homestand and this is that first home game back. We've already seen them play the Hornets once this season. Final score was 112-107 on the 15th of December. So a five-point win uh, in Charlotte. What was the point spread in that game? New Orleans was laying nine and a half. So they failed to cover in the first game. Coming off a significant road trip, this should be a bounce-back spot at the crib. Um, the Hornets, they've been free-falling, but... Don't want to like 12 and a half. You feel me? The Hornets are definitely, I mean, the Pelicans are definitely the better team, playing the better basketball, head and shoulders the better team, and they should win this game by 15 plus. Do I want to lay it, though, is the million dollar question. I'm not sure. Um, I, I'm going lighter here this next couple weeks till I get out of this little cold streak that I've been in. So I'm not just forcing plays that I don't have to force, and this I feel like is a force. It's Pelicans for me in this game. That's my lean. If you guys have a better angle or if you like it, take it and let me know in the comments what you, uh, why you like the Pelicans like that. But I lean towards them. Um, am I rushing to the window to bet the game? Probably not. Let's keep it rolling. Next game up, we got my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks, out on the road facing the Lake Show. Lakers at the crib, length three and a half here in this one. Um, let's start with the injury news. My guy. Luka Doncic, mama, there goes that man. He is listed as game time decision. I'm not sure if he plays or not. Um, I'll update you guys on Twitter as soon as I find something out. Exum is out. Derek, Don Derek Jones Jr., game time decision, and Grant Williams, game time decision. LeBron, day-to-day -day Davis, game time decision, and Anthony, day-to-day -day James. <laughs> I just realized what I said. LeBron day-to-day -day James and Anthony day-to-day -day Davis. I switched their last names. They're both listed as game time decision and Cam Reddish is out. <laughs> I expect LeBron and AD to both play. The Lakers have to start stacking some wins here. They have to. This is going to be the fifth home game in their last six games for the Los Angeles Lakers. My Mavs are coming off a fairly significant road trip or homestand. I'm sorry. Uh, they just play, what, six straight games at home. The Mavs have won both meetings this season, 104-101 in L.A. and 127-125 in Dallas. This will be the last and final meeting between these two teams. The spot tells me to take the Lakers. Double revenge spot at the crib, comfortable at the crib, fifth home game, last six games. Like, the spot yells Lakers. But I'm not betting the Lakers, bro. I'm not. I'm, I'm taking my Mavs here. Um, I think we're getting great value at three and a half um, with the Luka news looming. If he's in, oh, we got tremendous value on Mavs plus three and a half. If he's out, I feel just fine. Kyrie and Tim Hardaway Jr. have been playing lights out. I don't know if you guys know, but they've been um, on a tear um, recently. And I think they'll be just fine here in this one. Kyrie going up against LeBron, you know he's going to go extra try hard. I'm on the Mavs here. The Mavs have been one of the best road teams in the NBA all season long as well. i really be nervous about taking my Mavs at home. On the road is where I've made my money betting my Mavs. Right now, they are the second best road ATS team in basketball, 12-7 and seven against the number. They've covered in 63.2% of their games. The spot yells Lakers, but the line, in my opinion, doesn't. Um, the Mavs are the better team playing the better basketball, straight up flat out and if they get their best player back tonight hey i'm on my favorite team the dallas mavericks here in this one in all honesty i think they win the game straight up i'm gonna update you guys on twitter when i find out injury news uh next game up we got the golden state warriors out on the road facing the utah jazz i can't fade the jazz 
Um, the Jazz are the opposite of the Hawks, man. They are just printing money at this point. And until they give me a reason to hop off, I'm not going to do so. 16-4 and four against the number at home is Utah. They've covered in 80% of their games, bro. They have been on a tear at the crib. 16-4, and four, they've played 20 games at home and have only not covered in four. Um, I'm on them tonight. Again, would I be surprised if tonight was a night where they finally cooled off? No. But until they do, I'm going to keep trying to cash tickets on the Utah Jazz. Golden State hasn't been impressive to me the last month or so, so I'm not really just trying to take them here in this spot. Um, continuing to roll the Jazz until they give me a reason not to. They're at home at the crib. They've been going stupid, dummy crazy. I'm going to take them. Last and final game of the night. This graphic is messed up. Uh, it's supposed to be flipped. The Blazers are home. Uh, Nets laying six and a half on the road. I'm not betting this game. I'm not laying six and a half with the Nets on the road. They've been terrible on the road all season. At home is typically where they've been a money-making team, and even there, they've been bad recently. Um, the Blazers, in my opinion, are a live home dog. I just rather the points in my back pocket with them. I can't trust the Nets to lay six and a half on the road. We can't even trust the Nets really to win games at home right now, to win games at home. So expecting them to win on the road and laying points just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, would I be surprised if the Nets won and covered here? No, I wouldn't. The Blazers are a bad team. But, hey, we got to bet bad teams. That's how you make money in the NBA. You got to learn to f pick your spots to bet bad teams. And I think tonight's a good spot to bet a bad team at home against a team that's been free-falling recently, the Brooklyn Nets. Give me Portland plus the points. Home dog here in our last and final matchup of the night. And that's going to conclude this episode of my NBA Jam Session. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And of course... I have premium plays over at the site, including that NBA play of the day. You can hop on something even longer term, or you can join my all-access club, man. The information for that is in the description below. Um, the guys that have been in there from the start are up tremendously. Money-making Wednesday. Uh, bounce back Wednesday. Let's cook it up. Well, we already cooked it up. Let's smash it per usual, man. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls. I really, really do. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. See y'all soon. I'm out of here. Peace.